Last time, when Wounded Edge played Devil May Cry 3. There we go. He doesn't know how to do the DT burst. Oh god, maybe he doesn't need it. Wow, this cutscene is all pixelated to crap. One of the baked in cutscenes in this game just. Ah. Oh. Man. Baked in cutscenes. It's all jittery and. Oh, hey! Look! All those. Uh, uh, statue things that we saw at several points throughout the time of the groove. They're all. <gasps> they're all lining up on this one big platform. They all fit perfectly. That is some, like, ne next level architecture planning. Back at the top, again. All right, everybody's here. Now what? You got all your, your stupid anime figurines. What are you gonna do with them? Oh, okay, nothing. Are you gonna go? Yes, I'm going to finish him off. Well, you might as well forget it, because you're no match for him. Regardless, I must go. I had a chance to stop him before, but I couldn't. I'm responsible for all this mess. Responsible? Does it bother you that much? He's my father. Besides, who else can undo what he's done? A demon like you wouldn't understand. Okay, goodbye, Batman. Or Batwoman. Father and family, huh? Hmm. Well, I'll go too. But you better hurry if you don't want me to take all the credit. Virgil fell down there. Ooh, there's a 14 in the wall. Wow. That one's really hidden well. Mission 14. Drive. Charge upward to the sky. Mmm. -hmm. Can I get a... I can't... Ooh. I should hold off on that. Because Virgil fell down into the hole over here and he left me a present. Just these floating pieces of crap just hanging out. Beowulf. Flash gauntlets and greaves. The set boosts Dante's attack and speed, making him a lethal weapon. Not to, to, nah. Not to be confused with the movie Weapon Lethal. I'm real funny, you did you know? Did you know I'm the funniest person in the world? Uh, let's get that, let's get that final big weapon on there. Let's change our style to uh, Swordmaster so we can use it good. And let's see what actions we can get for it. Beowulf. Um, straight, more infused power punch. Beast uppercut. Punch the enemy into the sky. Air hike. We're gonna get this. New skill. Rising Dragon! Yes! We're gonna get this. How do you do this one? Back and press on the left stick. Press Y twice. Okay. And we'll get this too, I guess. And hold off on air hike. Mm. Oh yeah! The th stuff is just Come on, on permanently. 
So here we got our punch, punch, kick. We can charge up. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Got this. Go straight. It's pretty far. The the level one version goes like very very. It barely even goes like from here to here. I think it's not very good. If I remember, might be exaggerating. We got our big uppercut. Yeah, there we go. A rising dragon. In the air, we have a dive kick. Like how Virgil had. It's pretty nice. Our Swordmaster ability is just throwing out a little projectile. Doesn't go very far, but if you charge it up, it does go a bit farther. In the air, we have big smash down. That's pretty powerful. Forwards and the Swordmaster, we have. That, which is actually a move that Beowulf had in our fights. Charge it up. Back. And uh, Swordmaster will do. Oh, yeah. The, the big uppercut. The big one, though. Um, is there anything else out here? Oh, okay. There's whatever that was. Can I get up even further? Nope. Invisible wall. Dang. Nothing over here? Why? I could totally walk over there. If you didn't want me to walk over there, why would you even make it that way? Why'd you put an invisible wall? You could've just put it like a little fence or something. Or just break off that part entirely. Hmm. 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 So we gotta go through that statue. And I believe this is the only statue in the game that is required for you to smash it. And it's pretty easy to smash, too. You only have to get up to rank C. Sweet dreams. I guess whoever worked on this one, this weapon, was like, I really want the players to be able to, to try this one out. So make it mandatory. That classic Japanese accent. Gonna, gonna work in the Devil May Cry game. <clears throat> That's gonna be the best game ever made. It's the third one. Hey, I'm back out here. That's right, this place is a little hollow. Can I go back and do... Oh. oh, I think I have to. Oh, wait a minute. What? So that leads over there. But where does this go? I think the skull should still be here. But I don't need to interact. Maybe it's not. Hmm. So go over here. Secrets? Standing here. Can go back here for some reason. Shouldn't be any reason to go back there. I guess this is just in case you missed getting the the gun. Whatever. Let's get back inside. Top obsidian path. Hmm. Hmm. Hey, it's this place again. But the puzzle's gone. The wall is still smashed. This is where I literally just was a couple minutes ago. Um. Yeah, I took that, put it in the door. Hey, the skate's open now! Whoa! Whoa! Where am I? Where am I? Where 
where I am? Oh, I'm here. Ugh. So yeah, they don't like you jumping. This is the version of the enemy that actually fights you. Instead of just... Ugh. It's a pain in the ass, too. Alright, come on. Come on. Oh yeah, the battle music changed to be a different song, which is fine. I fucking can't hit him with my fists are too low to the ground. Just use his sword. Kind of a cool enemy, I guess. Mm. Okay. Where was that? Where do I need to go? That way, or... Oh, that way's blocked off. So yeah, this way. This is the place with the, um... Bloody fishes. Oh, only a couple of them are bloody. Can I... Redo that puzzle? No, because they're already smashed in. Bizarre. We're going here again. Eee. Come on, man. Let's see what these gauntlets can do. Pretty powerful. Come and get Blast off. You scared? This should be the boss room where we fought Beowulf, but, um, it's not. Uh-oh. Piece of a horse's ass. Ooh, it's a new one. Ouch. It's a horsey. He doesn't like me. And that's the horsey. Yeah. 
Give me that. Give me that. Yeah. There we go. Can I get out of here now? Where am I now? This isn't right at all. Oh my god, hang on to that again for me, please. I'm real thankful that you're uh, so cooperative. How did the sword... Piece of horse's ass. Uh. Oh! Shut up! Oh my fucking god! Don't you back away from me! Stop moving! Fucker. I'll screw you guys. I'm gonna go fight Jester again. Backing up all day. What? I thought this was gonna be another jester fight. I guess that's a different portal. <laughs> what is this doing here? What? Why am I back in here in this place? Oh, right. Now I remember. Just gonna walk forwards. Oh, wait! Bonus! Gotta get the bonuses, yay! Here we go. <gasps> hey, that's your bike! Oh, look! Look at that! He's using the, the dice chuck things. Up till now, he's only ever used the sword in cutscenes. Isn't that so cool? Now we're driving up the side of this big dumb building. Woohoo! I didn't know the ice chucks could, like, extend that far. Oh no! The terrain is turning into a sonic level. No! Thank god it's a cutscene. <laughs> this is so dumb. <laughs> oh, we got a new weapon! A new secret sixth! Oh. I guess not. Bam. How do we do? How do we do? You know, I guess someone looked at that cutscene and was like, oh, we should put that in Devil May Cry 5. Just to give him a big, big, um, motorcycle weapon. Subas. Skabas. Skabas? Yeah. Meanwhile, no one is doing anything. Oh, look, it's Dante. Oh, he's just having a nice walk outdoors. Okay. Wow. Where was the 15? I think it might be in the clouds? I didn't look. The gate crasher. Control the tower, control your destiny. Hmm. I remember this one as being kind of cukey.
Okay, just go. Ah. Oh. oh. Is it an angel? Oh, wow. What? I never noticed the way his face looked before. He kind of looks like Mr. X. Can I throw the sword at you? You're too high up. Now you're... Now you're too low. No, just throw the sword, Dante. Whoa! Did that sword throw just instantly... I can't... Oh, fucking god, stupid ass... Shit-ass enemies. Wow. Yeah. Throwing the sword at them just instantly just... Gets rid of their... Shield. Exposes their ugly face on their chest. You know what players like? Enemies that go through... Fuckers. Enemies that go through... The walls, so you can't get them. Uh, did this spear he threw just explode? Never seen that before. Well, that's a new enemy type. I'm pretty sure I have to fight these guys. And I'm gonna try and burst as many of them as I can. Everyone crowd around me. Everyone get close to me. There we go. That's bad at TC. So many little tiny buggos. Is that not what I was supposed to do? What the hell? I'm supposed to be able to get in there. <sighs> Devil Sprout Lift. Have I been here before? I don't think so. What's this? Looks like an elevator control switch. Something's missing. Three indentations to insert objects into. Hmm. Isn't that just swell? Oh, hey. I spy with my little Dante eye. A place I can't get to. What the hell? Okay, hang on, hang on. I gotta be able to, like... No? Oh, here we go. It's been a while since I got one of these. Come on, come on, come on. Hmm. I could have done better. Oh well. Hey, this is when this is when he wrote welcome on the thing. Do you remember? And there's, um, his big boy. Oh, I got some stuff for visiting him. Nice. An energy source has been activated. Large snapping sound like two parts locking together, together can be heard from beyond the wall. Now I just go back, right? Hooray! Now I have access to it. A massive force is shaking the tower. It feels like the whole tower is rotating. Wow. <gasps> I'm in a different area. Wow. The place really is rotating. Please stop. And now these things are... Speaking of rotating... These gear things are rotating. Is this 
just me or are they breaking out of the things faster than normal? And what the hell? Getting the worst luck on this or what? They keep falling onto like a different gear or something. Look at this Mario 64 stuff. Oh my god. There was no extra door up here, was there? No, come on. Over here? No. That's a secret mission, I already got that. Ah. Perfect. No! Ah, oh, no! Everyone get out of the camera, please. Oh my god. Okay. Go. This one's really dicey. Ah! Come on. I probably should have just fought those guys. Please let me move. Oh my god. No! Just go forward, stop! No! Ah. I got an ore Halkin fragment. One out of three. Jeez. Why didn't he drop anything? More of them? Oh my god. Ugh. No jumping? Jumping disabled. this at my own leisure. Uh. At my own leisure. This one's one fast one and one slow one. Here we got a fast one and a kind of fast one. Uh. These two are about the same but they're like off. No, one of them's fast. One of them's faster. And these should be both pretty slow. What the fuck? What? F Apparently these ones have long arms or something. Gonna need to mess with this again. Okay, massive force sh shaking. Whole thing is rotating. Good. Just go. Just go. Just go. Just go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Different room. Different place. Rounded pathway. It's on its side. I don't need to mess with these guys, because they're, um, just going back and forth. These are the lazy kinds of the enemy. Mm, okay, don't need to hit that yet. Provision storeroom. Huh, just grab the thing and leave. Thank you. I'm not dealing with these things again. No. Yeah, go here. There we go. Rotating the tower. The well, tower's rotating. Good. I like it.
Hello, goodbye. Excuse me, sir. You can put your hand down. Ah, uh, camera. Now we're here. Oh yeah, that part got broken off. And so did this. There's another one of these hiding there. There should still be a big bonus over on the other side. Yep, it's all still there. Hooray! This Vista Point also doesn't look great. A lot of just gray down there. It's implied that's where the city should be, but I guess we're just so high up that we can't see it, but... Like, we're practically looking straight down with this angle. You'd be able to see something. Also, you can totally tell that that's just... That little corner down there, that's just... Level geometry, I guess. There's no fake in that. It's not supposed to be how it is. The rest of the game is good though. So it's fine. Uh. Ooh, thank you. Oh, screw the- oh my god. Screw these st stupid tiny tiny stupid this hallway is awful. This is the worst one out of the bunch. Got the third and final one. Hooray. Can I get up there? Nope. Ouch. I can just do a regular No. God. Just a regular short hop kinda. Of. Oh my god. Huh. Just get me out of here. Now it needs to go back to normal. Whole thing is shaking. Rotating. Good. We're back at the 11. We're back at the Devil's Sprout Lift, but we're on the opposite side of it. This path leads back to the human world. Into the demon world, one must proceed towards the heavens from the central route. What? This whole mission is kind of a blur in my head. Um, wait a minute. Can't jump on that? What? Isn't there... So oh, there it is. I thought I remembered that. Needed to do it one more time. Yep, that's what it was. And now I have to fight. There we go. Just uppercut a spider. Ugh. Here we are. Put that in the thing. Put it in. Put it in. Put it in. There we go. 
Hooray! Blue door or red door? Plucks the threads that make us dance finger and toe. We surrender, in joy, to the lowest of the foul and rank. We submerge through darkness, rancid filth. Hour by hour, we move downward, ever closer to hell, in a slow, steady gait. Now, let the world resonate. Sloth. Gluttony. Greed. Envy. Lust. Wrath. And pride. A bell of chaos that tolls human desires. After two thousand long years, the once sealed gate to the demonic world will open. Destruction! Carnage and despair! Let your instincts drive you. Entrap this world in fear as its very name, Timon McGrew, strikes terror into the heart of mankind. Then I will become the ultimate rule wasteland, engulfed with pandemonium, the demonic power that Sparta once imprisoned will be Nah. When I look at that scene, all I can think of is how in Devil May Cry 4, the, the main antagonist is just so dry. Because that scene was pretty good. It was pretty zany, but... Mm, yeah. Yeah. Asax. 